The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one, in the name of the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, this question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he have confidence in all his ministers? If so, why? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes, because they are competent and capable. Do we have a second opinion? Supplementary <laughs> question. Order. Order. Supplementary question. Mm. Right Honourable Winston Peters. How can he have confidence in his Minister of Finance, previously Minister of MB, when the present Minister, Simon Bridges, had to ask questions of his staff on why almost $39 million was spent in the last financial year on contractors and consultants by his predecessor, the Honourable Stephen Joyce? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the Minister of Finance is an improvement on the last one, I can assure the member about that. Uh, and uh, I know that uh, in the process of the budget, they will be going through departmental expenditure with a fine tooth comb. Mr. Speaker, point of order. A point of order, right honourable Winston Peters. I seek leave to table a document obtained under the Official Information Act dated 9 September 2016, detailing the Ministry of Business Innovation and Employment's recruitment consultant spend with just some of the companies of the all of government contract. Leave is sought to table that information obtained by the OIA. Is there any objection to it being tabled? There is not. It can be tabled. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston Peters. Prime Minister, how can he have faith in the Minister of Building and Construction, who yesterday disputed the Auckland Council's records confirming that well over 13,000 fewer dwellings have been completed than consents in the five years to October 2016? Okay. The Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I understand there's some dispute about that member's version uh, of uh, those numbers. Uh, the fact is that we have the longest, strongest construction boom the country has seen in decades underway. Uh, last year, over 10, 000, around 10,000 houses were consented in Auckland and we'd expect that that would continue. And that construction boom is a sign of a growing economy where more Kiwis are staying home and we believe that's a good thing. A supplementary question. Supplementary question, right Honourable Winston Peters. How can you have confidence in the Minister of Commerce when in a written answer received today from her she questioned if foreign owned Latitude Financial Services was a large company despite it having assets of 1.4 billion, revenues of nearly 300 million and was last a subject of overseas investment office application in 2015. And if she doesn't understand what a large company is, how does she get her job? There are, I think, three questions there. The Prime Minister can address uh, Mr. any Speaker, of the three. Yes, right I, do have Prime Minister. I do have confidence in the Minister of Commerce. Uh, I'm not aware of the particular circumstances the member's referring to. Uh, point of order. Point of order, right, Honourable Winston Peters. To help the Prime Minister, uh, I seek leave uh, to provide information received just not publicly available. <laughs> Uh, the Minister of Commerce has replied to me on why this foreign-owned company has not filed financial statements with the company's office, something it's obligated to do. Order. Order. Can I just check? I take it it's an answer to a written question. Yes. And can I just be assured that it's one that's just been received by the member and therefore has not yet been published? Uh, precisely, Mr Speaker. Therefore, I will put mm. the leave. Leave us off to table that particular answer. Is there any objection? There is none that can be tabled. Question number two, and oh, is this a further supplementary? Yes, supplementary Mr. question, right, Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, if from Information Act answers, police are still working through deployment details, where is the soundness in public policy behind the Minister of Police's boast about increased police staffing when she doesn't know where the police are going to go? So how did she work out what numbers were needed? The right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the Minister of Police isn't uh, boasting about the increase in police numbers. It's a decision of the government to increase the police numbers. Uh, 1,125 staff, 880 of them uniformed. Uh, but the Minister is not the Commissioner of Police. Uh, the numbers have arisen out of consultation with the police, but in the end, the Commissioner will decide where they go. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, mm. right Honourable Winston Peter. How can he have confidence in the Minister of Defence, who has provided no update about the Defence Headquarters when he knows that this building will now have to be demolished? 
The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, well, Mr Speaker, I'm advised that actually the government doesn't own the defence building, and I'm sure... Uh, in fact, I don't know why the member's picking on the Minister of Defence, because he knows more about earthquake building and compliance than anyone in this House and anyone except the most experienced engineers. So I'd be more inclined to listen to his advice than to listen to the member's advice.